Welcome back, my fellow Shield Brothers. It's Shield Brothers 6 for the History Armada, and we're here with another of our shanties on this wonderful Monday. So, today we're going to be talking about one that has become very popularized by the app TikTok and YouTube. We're going to be talking about the Wellerman shanty. So, the Wellerman, to understand the basis of the song and what they're going to be singing about, the history of whaling is what we're going to be talking about. So, this is a shanty that comes from New Zealand uh, around. 18 to 60, 1870, it's believed. Uh, while its authorship is not confirmed and is rather unknown, it may have been written by a teenage sailor uh, or shore whaler. So the history of whaling in New Zealand stretches from the late 18th century to 1965. In 1831, the UK-born Weller brothers Edward, George, and Joseph, who had migrated to Sydney in 1829, founded a whaling station in Otako near modern Dundin in the South Island of New Zealand. Sorry if I butchered those names. So, it was a very flourishing whaling station, and in its heyday in 1834, the station was producing 310 tons of whale oil a year. And it became the center of a network of seven stations that formed a highly profitable enterprise for the Wellers, employing as many as 85 people to Otago alone. And from this base, the Wellers branched out into industries as diverse as timber, spar, flax, potatoes, dried fish, Maori artifacts, and even tattooed Maori heads, which were in keen demand in Sydney. <laughs> However, given that the colony of New Zealand would not be declared until 1840, the Wellers were treated as foreign traders and were affected by protectionist British import tariffs on whale oil. By 1835, the year that Joseph Weller died in Otago, the brothers had convinced of the need to abandon the station even as the, they branched out into massive land purchases in New Zealand, which amounted to nearly 3 million acres by 1840 that they had purchased. But their success in the whaling industry was fleeting, and they were declared bankrupt in 1840, and they were declared highly illegal, uh, and invalid with their court claims and land purchases once New Zealand became a colony. But nonetheless, whaling in New Zealand continued all the way up to the 1960s. And this song is one that talks about this whaling trade by the Wellers, and it may have served as a cutting-in shanty that whalers would sing as they slaughtered a whale. This was the song that they would do as they cut up the whale, harvested the meat, harvested the blubber, harvested the oil, that kind of thing. It was originally collected around 1966 by New Zealand-based music teacher and folk music compiler Neil Colquhoun from 1FR Woods. Woods was one in his 80s at the time and had allegedly heard the song when he was a boy and he wanted to hear more about it. So this music teacher in New Zealand collected this as well as others and the song John Smith AB was printed in 1904 issue of the Bulletin which was attributed to 1DH Rogers. It was possible that Rogers was the uncle of Woods, and it was thanks to these people that they were able to gather these shanties, such as Wellerman, up together. Soon May the Wellerman Come, in 1973, was included in Colquhoun's Book of New Zealand Folk Songs, New Zealand Folk Songs, Songs of a Young Country. There are many recordings now, uh, especially popular versions such as The Longest John's Version, that is the um, most recent version that has taken light, well not most reason, uh, recent, but Others have made it popular, such as Nathan Evans, many people on TikTok, and it has kind of flourished and come back to light. So, with the history of the Wellerman out of the way, I'm going to now give you a couple excerpts out of the sea shanty. It's a longer shanty, but I'll, I'll decide about the stop. So, <clears throat> this one's also one of my favorites. That's a fun one. Get a beat going. There once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The wind blew up her bow, dipped down, oh, and blow, mummy bullies blow. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore, when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore, he take that leave and tow. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her, all hands to the side, harpoon and fodder when she dived down below. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum, one day when the tonguing is done we take our leave and go. 
No line was cut, no whale was freed. The captain's mind was not on greed, as he belonged to the Wellerman's creep. She took that ship in tow. Ha! One day the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line went slack, then tight once more. All boats were lost, no more for. But still the whale did go. Ha! Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I heard, the fight's still on, the line's not cut, the whale's not gone. The Wellerman makes his regular car to encourage the captain, crew, and all. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. But there you go. That's a rough little version of the Wellerman. I got a couple of lines wrong there, but overall it talks about how the ship of the Billy of Tea finds a whale and they try to get the whale. When the ships are go they, they would go into rowboats at that point with harpoon to go and get the whale, as was traditional way of whaling at this time. But when they boats were starting to get lowered in the water, the, sh the whale's tail caught the ships and they were knocked over. And then we go to the chorus, but they say that there was the line was not cut, the harpoons were still in the whale, and they were still hunting him. It wasn't because the captain was greedy, but it was because he belonged to this whaleman's creed, which vowed, kind of like modern-day hunting, that if you shoot something, you have to put it out of its way, you have to finish it. So you would go get it. It wasn't necessarily greed, it's just you can't leave this wounded animal, you know, swimming around. It would be bad just for the environment, for the animal, for the trade, for everything. And they talk about for 40 days or even more, the slight, you know, there would be slack, no more slack, slack, no more slack, and they would keep chasing that whale. And they would talk about how, you know, the whaleman's going to come, bring a sugar and tea and rum, it's going to be great if we get this whale. And then I like that last line, as far as I've heard, the fight's still on, line's not cut, the whale's not gone. The whaleman makes his regular call to encourage captain, crew, and all. And then we hit the chorus again, and it's a fun one. And one that was kind of obscure until, I would say, recent efforts in the past year, thanks to modern media, that has really brought Wellerman back from the brink. Brought the New Zealand shanty back to light. It's a fun one, and it's got a really good rhythm to it, and if you get uh, if you get going, like I kind of did at the end of it, it's kind of fun, you kind of get into it. Whaling, obviously, is kind of an atrocious trade. Uh, it was necessary for a time, but it was terrible on the uh, populations of the whales but this song is about that trade it's a good song it's a fun song and i hope you learned a little something about the wellerman that is so popular now um like i said i'll be doing this every week if you have a recommendation for how to do this or an idea for a song or a story please just let me know in the comments you are welcome to like or dislike as you choose but as always my fellow shield brothers i am shield brother six for the history armada and until next time I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. Uh, have a good day.